everyone. Hope you all are fine. As you know that I am Hali Munisa, the junior lecturer of Alibeth Institute, High School and Junior College. So, today in our class, we will deal with the subject economics of first year, of first chapter. In this class, we will discuss about economics. What is economics and how it is deals with the subject to subject and to individuals. So, economic means the branch of knowledge concerned with the production, consumption and transfer of wealth. And all economic activities are for satisfying human wants. In the society, all the people to satisfy their wants, they use various goods and services. Absolutely and exactly. In order to purchase goods or services, they require money. Money is the basic thing to satisfy a human wants and to get various type of goods and services. Money is only the means of goods and services and to satisfy the wants of women. So that which they can get by participating in different economic activities. We know this very well. If we want to achieve and to satisfy our wants, then we have to participate in, in economic activities for surviving and for fulfill our wants and satisfy our want. This is clear that today money plays a significant role in almost all economic activities. By this, economics is the study of relationship between satisfying unlimited human wants and limited resources which have alternative uses. Economic deals with how an individual and as well as society allocate their scarce resources to satisfy their needs in order to preference to maximize satisfaction. The present unit describe the origin of economics various definitions of economics, fundamental problems of an economy, nature and scope of economics, different study methods used in economics and various basic concepts of economics to define and to describe the economy and economics towards the individual and as well as towards the society and welfare of material and non materialic subject. So, by this, the definition of economics showed that if we look around, we find people engaged in different activities like agriculture, trade, business, industry, etc. The motive behind these activities is to earn money to satisfy their wants or our wants. So, these activities performed for earning and spending of money are called economic activities. Getting this is very easy and clear point is that whatever the activities which are done by the human beings to earn money and to satisfy their wants and needs and to satisfy and fulfill their needs that activity is only called as economic activities. Economic activities form the subject matter of economics only. Okay, here the meaning of economics. Economic is a social science which studies how the individuals and organized engaged in production, distribution and consumption of goods and services. Economics is the systematic study of never-ending efforts of a man to satisfy his unlimited wants with limited resources. Okay, the words economic and economy both come from two Greek terms that is ikos and nimis means household management. The word economics and economy both come from Greek term that is ikos and nimini. It means household management. The management of the household being the most familiar field in the economy. With the help of publication of Adam Smith's 
famous book that is named as An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of Wealth of Nations in 1776. Economics saw the light of the day since it is not possible to satisfy all the unlimited wants with the limited resources exactly. Every society must decide some way of selecting those wants which can be satisfied. A society is facing the problem of choice. Why? We will see. Choice among the unlimited wants that are to be satisfied. The scarcity of resources. Therefore, there is the compels us to choose among the different uses of factors to which resources are to be devoted. The problems of allocating scarce resources so as to get the maximum satisfaction assumed importance. Obviously, it should be. Then here compels means force to do something. Okay. The nature and scope of economics are related to what is economic? Is it a study of wealth or human behavior or scale of resources? We will see what is that. The scope of economy is very wide. It includes the subject matter of economics, whether economic is a science or an art and whether it is a positive or a normative science. Study of definitions of economics throws the light of the nature of economy. Here the normative means relating to norm, especially behavior. Okay. We will see what is the nature and what is the scope of its economics in society and in individual's behavior. And in individuals satisfaction and production consumption all these things we will see in this chapter only okay definitions of economy are wealth definitions welfare definitions scarcity definitions of Lionel Robbins growth definitions of professor Samuelson okay firstly we will go with the wealth definitions Wealth definitions towards the economy we will see. The wealth definitions are related to the classical view of Adam Smith and his contemporaries. The classical economist beginning with the Adam Smiths defined economy as the science of wealth. He defined it in his famous book named as Wealth of Nations as an inquiry into the nature and the causes of wealth of nations. Beside Adam Smith's other classical economics have also regarded economics as the study of wealth. So through the words of JBC, the aim of political economy is to show the way in which the wealth is produced, distributed and consumed. Okay. Economic is that body of knowledge which relate to wealth for F. A. Walker in America. According to J. S. Mill, it is the nature of wealth and the laws which govern is production, distribution and exchange. Okay. These personalities, economists has described and explained the economy towards the society and towards the production, distribution and exchange of goods. Okay. The important features of wealth definition is that the main objective of human activity is the acquisition of wealth. Here the acquisition means object brought or obtained typically by library or a museum. Next is wealth refers to goods produced. Man is treated as selfish whose objective is to accumulate more and more wealth. Obviously, economy deals with the activities of wealth production, consumption, preservation and increasing. All these are the important features of 
wealth of economy or wealth definition okay now we will go with the criticism here the criticism means the expression of disapproval of someone or something on the basis of faults or mistakes okay here the economy is a science of wealth let stress on material wealth this led to be science of mammonism and decimal science here the meaning of mammonism is money material wealth which is entity and promises with wealth associated with the greedy present of gain okay here the meaning of mammonism is money material wealth and entity that promised with associated with the greedy present of gain the classical narrowed the scope of economics many economists like bally charlie ruskin jevnos and edgeworth have criticized these definitions charlie and others criticized that economy must discuss ordinary man's activity and not those of the economic man ruskin and other criticized that economics must discuss ordinary man's activities and not those of the economic man whether the edgeworth regarded it as dealing with the lower elements of human nature see how they have criticized and how they have explaining the economy towards the individual and towards the society but marshall criticized that wealth is only a mean to an end welfare but to an end itself only okay when other side adam smith's definition covers only materialistic human activities and not the non materialistic activities like services of teachers and doctors due to this the scope of economic is limited these definitions concentrated many on the production side and neglected the distribution side okay but we will see the welfare definition what the welfare of definitions define the economy okay the next definition to the economy is welfare of definitions now we will see in this how the welfare of definitions define the economy towards economics and economy only alfred marshall raised economics to a dignified status by advancing new definition in year 1890 he shifted emphasis from production of wealth to distribution of wealth okay this is the welfare definition according to marshall so in this words of marshall the political economy or economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life in the words of marshall the political economy or economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life it examines that part of individual and the social action which is the most closely connected with the attainment and with the use of the material of well being so that here it is on the one side a study of wealth and on another side more important side that is the part of study of a man okay economists who followed the footprints of marshall like economists who followed the footprints of marshall like ac paigo and edwin canan have given the same type of definitions in the words of paigo we will see what he is defining the economy is that the range of inquiry become restricted to the part of social welfare that can be brought directly or indirectly into the relation with the measuring of root of money okay but here with the words of edwin cannon he defined that the aim of political economy is the explanation of the general causes on which the material welfare of human beings depends very thin difference is there 
very thin difference is lie between the these two economists how they are defining the economics with the definition of Marshall only. We will see that what are the main features of welfare definitions of the economy. Now we will see the important features of welfare definition. Okay, first is that economy is related to man's wealth getting and wealth using activities. It examine that part of individual and social action which is closely connected with the acquisition and use of material wealth which promotes the human welfare. Okay, that economy is a social science. Economy studies only the economic aspects of social life and it has no concern with the socially undesirable activities. So, in words of Marshall that he defines that considered those economic activities which promotes material welfare and non-economic activities and activities with ignoble ends are excluded. Example, political, social and religious aspects of life. Again, Marshall has used the term economics for political economy to make it similar to physics. He assumed that economics must be a science even thought it deals with the ever-changing human nature. Exactly. Okay. So, these definitions has given importance to man and his welfare and recognized wealth as a man for promotion of human welfare. After all this, the next criticism is that Marshall's definition is not free from critics. Robbins in his essay on the nature and significance of economy science finds fault with the welfare definition of economics. What is that and what are the faults and mistakes? What he defined in other words according to that definitions we will see. Okay, economics is a human science rather than a social science. The fundamental laws of economics apply to all human beings. So, therefore, economics should be treated as a human science and not as a social science. Okay, human only the participating all the economic activities to fulfill their wants and to satisfy their wants and needs. So, that's why here he is defining that economics should be treated as a human science, not as a social science. Obviously, through the peoples only, through the human only, society will form. So, it terms, firstly it defined to the human science and after that social science we will see. But here it is defining as a, and clarify that economics should be treated as a human science, not as a social science. Okay, then the Robbins criticized it as classificatory and differentiate between the materialistic and non-materialistic goods and not given any importance to non-materialistic goods which are also very important. Therefore, it is incomplete. Why? Because both of them are entirely related. Okay. So, that is why it is defining as this sentence are not completed to the defined economics. Robbins regards all goods and services which have a price and enter into the exchange whether they are material or non-material. He is clarifying this and he is giving a definition to economics and criticize the Marshall's definition. Then the another serious point is that another serious objection is about the quantitative measurement of welfare. Here welfare means welfare is a subjective and relative concept of and changing the according to time, place and persons. Obviously it should be changed through the time and through the peoples and activities and persons, place and as well as the time also. Here the Robbins defined that economy as a neutral between ends and it has nothing to do with the ethics. Okay. Then Marshall includes only the material activities which promote the material welfare. 
but to robins the production of alcohol and drugs not to promote a human welfare exactly but economics deal with the production and consumption of these goods because they are the scarce and have a utility and value that's why only but robin has taken serious objection not for considering scarcity of resources according to robin's economic problem arises due to limited resources which are not to be used to satisfy the unlimited wants obviously the human wants are unlimited but the resources are limited here only the problem arise and the definitions are also differentiate and criticize the other definitions to improve the economic definitions according to the human life according to the human activities according to the society welfare and according to the human welfare only okay that all these things and economy is all around about the production consumption distribution and exchange of goods only in next class we will discuss about another definition of economy that is scarcity definition <laughs>